Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Shadan, and I am the CCCM project manager for Kirkuk in Iraq. Joining me in this presentation, my colleague Ayman. He is the CCCM coordinator for Nainoa. NRC starts its implementation in Iraq in 2010 as a response to Iraqi displacement and in 2014 for the Syrian refugee. Currently, it's uh, working in six governorate, in which three of them, UDOC CM, is operational. The main objectives and aim behind the localization and exit uh, strategy, it is one, to be able to hand over the physical community center, the second handover of the program activities, and lastly, developing the capacity of the civil society. During the preparation, planning, and implementation of this strategy, there are many challenges that we encounter, as you can see. Do no harm, protection concern, and etc., which we are going to discuss in the next slide. For Kirkuk, what we are doing well in this process is that I will give one example, which is gender. As one of the leading female NGOs approached us in order to support with establishing committees. Unfortunately, since the end, we have had committee leaders trying to bully women out of committees. Thankfully, these women were able to resist this pressure with the support of the local network that we helped to create. Why we are doing this? Because when we exist, we are not leaving behind ideas, uh, activities, sorry. We are also leaving behind ideas. In that, we faced, or there are many challenges that we faced during the localization. One of them is referral, as the, there is a massive protection concern. Um, ha follow up, do no harm, capacity, and other several areas. The second one is pressure. As INGOs can resist governmental pressure, however, local NGOs, they cannot really do so. So they are forced to compromise in order to continue being operational. Moving to the same topic with, the, however, in Nenawa, uh, and uh, giving the stage to my colleague, Ayman, to comment on that. Thanks, Shedan. Uh, as for Nenawa, what we are doing well, as an example, we have the handover approach. So we intentionally choose one of the lowest capacity local NGOs to handover to. We have two months of working together left and the process is good. There is respect for conduct, COVID safe measures, community representation, and online information systems such as COBO. They already run a community center. We don't need to hand over our center, just what we know. Mm -hmm. As why is that important? Because we are seeing changes in the way they work. Those changes will outlive NRC. As part of the challenges that you mentioned, uh, we expect a lot of challenges. I will highlight two of them. First one is the uh, data and confidentiality, such as system, processes, practices, are all, uh, are all largely problematic. The second challenge that we expect is the handover failure, uh, such as use of the center for political purposes, misconduct, corruption, misuse, misuse of data for identifying targets. Actually, we are doing our best, but there are no guarantees of success. Thanks, Shadan. Thank you, Ayman, and thank you for your time. 